my name's uh, Chuck Graham, and I'm a warrant officer with the 4th Battalion of the uh, Royal Canadian Regiment. Um, I'm currently working with the Integrated Personnel Support Centre, uh, the IPSC in London, and we're looking after the inland injured soldiers here in southwestern Ontario. So there was missions to Cyprus uh, in 8045, another mission in 8990. Um, I did Croatia in 9495, Kosovo in and then I did uh, nine months in Afghanistan in 2007. It depends if it's excitement-wise or fun-wise. Cyprus, it was more fun. Uh, Afghanistan, Kosovo, and Croatia, they were more um, excitement. Uh, Afghanistan in particular. Uh, I think I'm most proud of that because all the courses that I had up to that point uh, were brought to fruition and I could actually use them and make sure that uh, the, my goal, my, my mental goal for what I wanted to do in the military was achieved and which was helping people. Uh, the Afghan people are uh, uh, in desperate need to get uh, freed from the yoke of oppression that they're under and so that was the main goal that I had when I went into Afghanistan and into the military in general was to help people. So we're in uh, RV-85. Uh, this was a big concentration they used to have in the Canadian military. So you got five, six thousand troops concentrated in uh, Wayne Rat, Alberta. And we had a, a corporal, uh, a fairly nice fella, like give you the shirt off his back, but he was always getting himself into situations. So one day his job was to move along the, uh, the armored personnel carriers and tell everybody what was going to happen. So as he went along, he came up to an M113 armored personnel carrier that's a track vehicle, and he went to climb up onto the vehicle. So as he put his foot on the track and hoisted himself up, he took his right hand and he went to grab one of the, uh, the little rails that were on the side of the vehicle. Well, he missed the rail and he actually grabbed the hot exhaust pipe. So he yanked his hand off of that, squealed at the top of his lungs, and started to fall. Because now he wasn't holding on to anything and he was about five feet off the ground. So he takes his right hand, and he tries to grab onto the rail that he missed the first time, missed it the second time, and ended up burning his right, his left hand. So now he's, now he's falling, both hands are burnt, he's got no way of stopping himself, ends up on the ground. So for the rest of the exercise, he ends up with two big white bandages on his hands. Any time that I've left Canada, uh, whether it's on vacation, whether it's on a mission, whether it's uh, representing Canada on one of the um, uh, teams I've been on, um, I always, as soon as I come back, it's almost a physical presence that calms you right down. So uh, you go through the, the airport, you get, uh, you, you come out into the, the parking lot, whatever, and it's like, ah, I'm back. It, it, there's, there's, a, there's a physical lessening of tension, of mental stress, of and everything. Uh, and I find that even when I go on vacation, it's the same way to a lesser degree but you feel relief in being back in Canada. And it's a physical, uh, a physical sensation. And uh, I think probably the, uh, the reason for that is that here we have all the freedoms. We, have, we can travel around as much as we want. We don't have to worry about somebody blowing, up or blowing you up or anything like that. We have uh, the rule of law, which is something that we try and instill in other countries to, to get them to understand what rule of law is. Uh, and we know that we're safe. And that all compiles into that feeling of, ah, I'm back. Uh, I've seen it in several different ways. Uh, the main way is people just coming up, shaking your hand and saying, thank you very much for everything you've done. And that shows their support. Um, and. Well, that's, that's, that's the main way, it's just by showing their support. Uh, not letting, you know, the little things that happen sometimes, like, uh, you know, um, bad press that happens in the news. Everything has bad press. We're a reflection of the Canadian populace. So whatever happens on, as I'll call it, Civvy Street, can happen in the military, because we are a reflection of the population of Canada. We have the same likes, the same dislikes. We have the same vices. Um, you know, and it was alcohol, drugs, whatever, and it's bound to happen. There's, you can try and eliminate it as much as you want, but it will happen eventually. But we try to minimize it as much as possible. So, really, I think uh, myself and, and the rest of my fellow soldiers um, 
try to concentrate in our mission as much as possible, but you get sidetracked sometimes. And uh, you just have to put yourself back on course.